In today's video, I'm going to be covering the best CD rates available ranging from three months all the way out to 10 years. And when I say CDs, I'm referring to certificate of deposits, which are offering just over 6% today. There are several different types of CDs, which I'll be discussing, and I'll provide the highest rates that are available in each of those types and timeframes. And it's due to the feedback from viewers like you that led me to provide this video with CD rates going out all the way to 10 years. And since some of you may be new to my channel, I'm going to be covering the basics of CDs, and then I'll jump right in with the best rates today. And as a reminder, CDs are a savings product that are offered from banks and credit unions, which provide a higher rate than a savings account because they require you to keep your money invested in the CD for a set period of time. CDs have an upper hand of the savings account with regards to the rate because it is a locked-in rate for the entire time frame that you own it unlike a savings account where the interest rate can go up or down at a moment's notice. The biggest downside to CDs is that you're typically locked in for the set time period and you don't have as much access to your cash like you would with a savings account. However, you can cash in your CD early, but it has a tendency to have a fee that's associated with withdrawing it early. The penalty is typical anywhere from giving up one to two months worth of interest. But if you need your cash in a hurry, you can take the penalty and you can cash them in, but I'm gonna discuss an option that skirts that penalty altogether. And you can also purchase your CDs from a brokerage site like Schwab, Fidelity, or TD Ameritrade. And these CDs are still savings products that are being sold from specific banks and the credit unions. The brokerage site is just a moderator that's connecting the clients with the banks. Overall, this means that the FDIC coverage up to 250,000 is still offered on CDs purchased on a brokerage site. And buying new CDs from a large broker like these don't typically have any fees associated with it, but always make certain to read the fine print because they can change their fees and their terms at any time. I often hear from viewers that use a local broker where they're often being charged fees for purchasing CDs and CD ladders. Always do your homework to understand your fees and your options from your specific broker. And another question that I often get is, can you buy CDs within an IRA? And the answer is yes, you can but you need to review the details and any purchase limits of your IRA. A big difference between a brokerage site versus a bank is that you don't have early withdrawal fees. Instead, they have the option to sell the CDs on the secondary market. I cover the brokerage site CD process in depth in this video right here. If you are interested in learning the fine details of purchasing them on a brokerage site, then I highly suggest that you watch this video. Brokered CDs is far too much information for me to cover today, but I will state that there is a fee for buying and selling used CDs from a broker, and it's usually around 0.1%. Next, I need to speak about the taxes on CDs where you're going to be given a 1099 INT form. On a CD, the taxes is based on when you earn it, not when you withdraw it. So if you have a three-year CD, you'll pay taxes in year one, you'll pay taxes in year two, and you'll pay taxes in year three, even if you keep the interest compounding and growing in the CD. Now I also want to talk about the duration of CDs and how they interact with your payout based on your APY. The annual percentage yield, or APY, is basically how much money you can expect to make in a year from your investment. Even if your CD is only for six months, the APY is calculated as if you kept it for the full year. This helps keep things consistent across different investments. It's sort of an apples to apples discussion. Here's an example. If you have a 12-month CD with a 12% APY without any compounding interest, it means you'll be earning 1% each month. But if you also have a 6-month CD with a 12% APY, you still earn 1% each month. So even though the CDs have different durations, they're both earning the same rate on a monthly basis, which equates to exactly 12% APY. In short, the rate of return, APY, is the same for both CDs, but the duration happens to be different. It's important to understand this so that you can make informed investment decisions on things like CDs, T-bills, and other items that have varying dates of maturity. All right, let's get started with the best three-month CD rates today. And as a heads up, I will have a link to a spreadsheet in the description below that's going to list all the links to all the banks that are offering these CDs. And I'll kick it off with the best regular CD today being from a website called Raisin. And it's for Ponce Bank at 5.15%. And if you're not aware, Raisin is like a mediator that brings savings products like CDs and bank accounts from all different types of banks. And then they offer them all in one location, sort of a one-stop shop. And I will state that they are an affiliate link for me, but I am only listing them in this video where they have the best rate. And a feature that I do like about Raisin is that their minimum deposit is only $1, and you're not gonna get that really from any other bank. And I also wanna make it overtly clear that every CD that I list today is insured either by FDIC or NCUA. As for the best three-month brokered CD, it is at 5.3% from TBK Bank. 
and I am only listing brokered CDs that are call protected. There are higher rates that are available, but they aren't call protected. And honestly, for my opinion, that is not worth showing. And for those of you that want the maximum liquidity possible, I'm also listing the top no penalty CD at 4.9% from American First but it is on the Raisin website I just mentioned prior. I'll also point out that Raisin is the only site that I found with the best rates on no penalty CDs. But uh, hey, if you do find one better, please share it in the comments below so everyone else can see it. Now onto the six month regular CD with Old Point National Bank at an incredible 6.02% with a $500 minimum deposit. I have to show a picture of their website to ensure that you can all see this for yourself. Seriously, this is one of the highest rates that I've seen all year. If you want this, I highly suggest that you jump on it now before it's gone. It's not uncommon for a bank to have a limit or a quota on what they're willing to sell, and then they simply turn it off once they hit their number. Which is also a very good reminder that the rates that I'm showing today can change at any moment at the bank's discretion. Now I'll move on to the best brokered CD at 5.3% from Bank of California. It seems ridiculous to even show this next to the 6.02% from Old Point, but hey, it's still a good comparison for all of you to see. And lastly, we have the no penalty CD at 4.92% from MPH Bank that is also on Raisin. All right, let's keep this rolling with the best one year CD from Evergreen Bank at 5.35%. But technically it's a 13 month CD with a $10,000 deposit. Look, there's no doubt about it. This is a very steep deposit in order to hit this rate. I mean, personally, I don't really love it when banks offer these promotional CDs at these odd time intervals because most CDs are set to auto roll back into another CD at a lower rate once they mature. And when it's an odd month like this, it's pretty easy to miss your grace period for cashing it in at maturity and then it's rolled in and you're stuck at a lower rate. So kind of keep that in mind. Moving on to the best brokered CD, it happened to be from Goldman Sachs at 4.9% with a minimum deposit of $100. And for a brokered CD, this is unusually low for a deposit because the minimum is typically around $1,000. On Fidelity, they now offer fractional shares, but the site doesn't easily inform you of this. You can see that the quantity field states that a one is equal to $1,000, but the price lists 100. So you can enter 0.1 and it will sell it to you for exactly $100. I just wanna bring it up so you don't feel like you're cornered into investing the full $1,000 when technically you don't need to. And now for the no penalty CD at 4.9% with FVC Bank from Raisin. This no penalty CD is at such a high rate that I'm shocked because it's providing the best liquidity for a guaranteed rate. Now moving on to the best two year regular CD, which is at 5.05% from Itabel Bank, which is also listed on Raisin, where the minimum deposit once again is only $1. This is one where it's such a good rate at the two year mark that I'm not really certain how long it's gonna be there. So just be warned in advance. And now for the best brokered CD, it happens to be from First Foundation at 4.9% and it's offered as a fractional CD at $100. I need to take a quick pause and point out that in my prior videos on CDs, the yield curve had been horribly inverted where the long-term CDs had extremely low rates. And as you're starting to see from these two-year CDs that the yield curve is now beginning to flatten out. Now I'm gonna reel it back in and I'm gonna to go to the three-year regular CD CD from Popular Direct at 4.6%, but the deposit is at a whopping $10,000. This is definitely a product for a very particular person, but as I mentioned at the beginning, it was requested to show the rates much further out and that's exactly what I'm doing. And I need to state that from this point on, I really couldn't find any more penalty CDs and most of the brokered CDs were not call protected. So I'm not gonna list them if they aren't. With that said, I'm gonna move on to the four year mark where I have GTE Financial at 4.85% with only a $500 deposit. And this one surprises me for a very different reason because it has a better rate than the three year CD. And honestly, I have not seen that happen in over a year. I also wanna share that the GTE Financial also has a jumbo CD option at the four year with a rate of 5.12% if you have a minimum deposit of $100,000. This also happens to be one of the best jumbo rates that I've seen in over a year. Now on to the five-year CD from Popular Direct at 4.53% with their obligatory high minimum deposit of $10,000. And for those of you that don't watch CD rates all that often, typically the rates at the five-year mark for the past year haven't even been available. And if they are, they're only at around 2%. And now I'll move on to the best 10 year CD offering that I could possibly find. And it is from Discover Bank at 3.8%. This one seemed like it was completely out of left field for me because Discover is a big name brand and it was one of the only ones I could find at the 10 year mark that was above one and a half percent. 
In my opinion, they're a great company with very strong financials to support themselves. And it's one of the only big name banks on this list today. Along with this, I was also surprised to find a brokered CD with call protection from Farmers Merchant Bank via Fidelity at 3.9% with a minimum of $1,000. As you can tell, I try to listen to your comments the best I can, and I've tried my best to track down the best CD rates starting from three months, going out all the way to 10 years. I hope you got some value out of today's video, and thanks for watching.